Okay, so in this first question, uh, we're given two vectors, A and B, and we're asked to write down what is 3A minus B. So, we're going to write out what A and B is in terms of I's and J vectors. And we multiply out the brackets. Now, this last term caused a lot of people uh, problems and generally does because it's a double negative, taking away minus 2, same as adding 2. Now we combine together the i terms. 6 take away 4 is 2. And 9 plus 2 is 11. Okay, so now we know what uh, 3a minus b is. So the next question is to find the magnitude 3a minus b. Now the symbol for magnitude is a pair of parallel vertical lines, either side of the vector. So what we've got to do is we've got to find the magnitude of 2i plus 11j. Now, if you have a vector written in terms of i and j vectors, then you can find the magnitude, modulus, length, all of those words would apply, by doing essentially Pythagoras. 2 squared plus 11 squared square root. So it's the square root of 125 that works out to be 5 root 5, which in decimal format is 11.18 to two decimal places. Now, if we're not quite sure why we use Pythagoras, this next question will. We've been asked to find the acute angle 3a minus b makes with the positive x axis. Now, good idea is if we actually draw out what 3a minus b looks like. So 2i plus 11j means you're going to have a vector that's 2 in the x direction followed by 11 in the j direction or y direction. That's what the vector 2i plus 11j would look like. So if we want to find the magnitude or length of that vector, we can do Pythagoras theorem. 2 squared plus 11 squared. That's what we did in the previous one. Now in this question, we've been asked to find the angle it makes with the positive x direction, in other words, that direction. So this angle in here. So we can see we've got a right angle triangle, and we know two lengths, so we're going to be able to use trigonometry to find the angle. Now because this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent, we're going to use tan. So tan theta equals 11 over 2, opposite over adjacent. So theta is the inverse tan of 11 over 2. So we get that from our calculator in degrees. So again, take it to one decimal place. 